we just don't want to put our lives up for grabs anymore. If you want to understand what violence and drugs do to people in our city, just watch the conversation between our chief investigative reporter and this couple he met sitting on a sidewalk. Before we get to them, we want to tell you about the funeral arrangements of the Rochester police officer killed on duty last Thursday night. Calling hours of Officer Tony Mazurkiewicz are Sunday afternoon and evening at the Richard Keenan Funeral Home in Egypt. The funeral is next Monday. It'll be at the Blue Cross Arena. The man accused of killing Officer Mazurkiewicz and shooting his partner, Officer Sino Seng, is still in jail tonight. Kelvin Vickers is from the Boston area, and we're trying to figure out why he was here. That's what Berkeley Breen asked the mayor. The alleged shooter is from Boston. Do you have any idea what he was doing here? I don't. I, I, I don't. I think that that, that that will all be a part of the investigation, obviously, and it's an ongoing investigation, so I don't want to comment on it too much. But I will say that we are not going to tolerate people coming from out of state, in state, trying to wreak havoc in our community. When Berkeley left that interview with the mayor on Lake Avenue, he met a couple sitting along the sidewalk. They told him they're trying to get out of the city because of the violence and the drugs. I know things happen any and everywhere, but we stand a better chance, not in the city than here because of the gun violence and the drugs. And now they got everything in the drugs. and You just never know what you're going to get, and it's scary. Sabrina Dixon and Gregory Robinson have known each other for 25 years, and they're planning to get married this fall. But before they do that, they want to move. The apartment building is above the building where I found them. I have become somewhat of a, a probation officer in my relationship because I'm afraid for him. I'm afraid for him to walk the streets, to go to the store, because I never know. He could just be that innocent bystander that we like almost become um, prisoners in our own home. I can't have my grandkids over because where are they going to play? I can't say, okay, yeah, we'll all walk to the store. Why would I want to walk to the store with my grandkids when somebody's going to offer us drugs? And they will do that. Dixon went to School of the Arts, but she said a cousin introduced her to drugs as a teenager, and she's struggled ever since. And there is temptation, she says, everywhere around her neighborhood. And that's why she wants out. Where I can come outside and we can come outside and have a cup of coffee in the morning. We can talk to the Lord and, you know, just some. And you don't feel like you can do that living here? No, I don't. I don't feel like I can do that living here. The RPD data shows there's been a murder, a shooting, and three larcenies, all within three to four blocks of Sabrina's apartment. Brett? Wow. All right, Burke, thank you.